All right, guys. UFC 263. Yeah, it has come and gone. But uh, we are going to talk about a fight that happened early in the prelims. I think the first fight in the prelims, not in the early prelims. Our boy Hakim Daoudou in an effort against uh, Evolwev. Mofsa Evolwev, yeah. So uh, in our... In our pre pre match uh, discussion for this fight, uh, Farouk and Mayua had their opinions about how this match was going to go, and the two of you got your predictions right by saying it would go the distance. But where you did not get your prediction right was the victor, the winner of the fight, right? Mm. So, uh, and also in our preview of this fight, we also mentioned about Hakim's slow pace. In guest in in being in a fight and how strong he always ends a fight, and it was evident in this fight that in his in the third round Hakim came in. Uh, oh, he almost uh, finished uh, Evolve in the before Evolve was smart to hold him down. Anyway, so that that's what happened in the fight. Uh, I'm going to go straight to our Russian ex- expert, who is Farouk. Farouk. Uh, well, before that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. About this topic, we have our boy Mayuwa Balogun again. He's uh, <laughs> from Combat Sports NG. Uh, so he's going to give a share us with his uh, ideas and thoughts about what happened in UFC 260. Bring, he's bringing that vast knowledge into this show. Yeah, UFC 263. We're happy to have you again. <laughs> yeah, and some other topics. Anyway, so talking about UFC 263, uh, Hakim Daoudou losing to Yevlov mostly 20, 29, 28. No, no, no. 29, yeah, 26. 27. 27. 29, 27, right? Because uh, the second yeah. round was, was second 10 round was 10 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Farouk, Russian expert, how did you see the fight going? Was it what you thought? Uh, go ahead, tell us what you thought. Yeah, the fight did not play, play that as we predicted. Yeah, I I initially thought um, that would come out um, like keeping... Um, um, Evolve of of him, but it's 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 evident that Evolve wrestling is so it's at a higher level, it's on a different on a different level. And Dawood could not do much. He was taken down, he was controlled throughout the whole fight, apart from the third round where he did much more better. If he had put that performance, the third round performance throughout the fight, may maybe likely get a split decision victory as used to as usual. But unfortunately for him, he just could not match the power of Evolve. Yeah, yeah. So, so... Um, it was dominated. The wrestling was just the superior um skills in that fight. Yeah, so basically, we saw the Russian Russian chain wrestling. So which yeah. was which was a big fact, which was a mm-hmm. big fact because it he overwhelmed him, didn't give him any breathing space for the first and second yeah. round. But then in Yuvlo's game, we saw that the striking is not as slick as Daudu striking because Daudu got an advantage of uh, striking in the third round. We knew that coming to this fight. We knew that because. If it, if, if it was based on stand-up, that's why we say Dawoodu will take, take the fight. Mm. But what, what we feel to to get at that point, and we thought he would be able to um, stop Evolve takedown, which he could not. If he's, if he's going to be based on strike in the exchange, Dawoodu would be the one with the upper hand. But in a nutshell, credit to Dawoodu as well for being in the fight throughout. He survived. At some point, I was like, this guy is done, man. <laughs> he said that he fall into a submission or he lose via TQ, but he stayed, into the, he stayed on, on the fight. He, like he did well. All right. Not All right. We don't, we, this, but, we don't have too much time on this. We don't have too much time on this topic. So we'll move over to Mayo. Yeah. Mayo just woke up from sleep, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <He's>, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's about nine thirty a.m. And I was up. I was up till uh, like four a.m. because I, I, I watched the press conference after. So. Oh yeah. I didn't sleep much. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, so I think I'm not. I wasn't surprised, and I told you guys it would be a top fight for you know that would do. I think I said last last time we spoke that it would be a top fight because. <laughs> Evlov is a difficult guy. Um, but I was impressed by Dawoodu. I think that, I think he made a mistake. No, I won't say a mistake. I think he, because I watched his interviews and he was saying that um, he didn't think Evlov was strong. <laughs> and I think that he, I think that he thought that Evlov is pretty strong. He, he, he said he thought that Zubaira was stronger, like physically stronger. Mm. Uh, and I think that's where he made a little mistake. I mean, he, he showed strength. Like he was coming, he was standing up constantly. But chain wrestling is chain wrestling, man. There's nothing you could do there. And but yeah. and like um, like said, round three, I was surprised that he even had a chance in round three. Cause I was like, man, yeah. this fight is done. It's gonna get blown out, you know. So I was very impressed. I 
actually hurt the guy and almost finish the fight. If you look at so. round three, um, every, every level was even getting more tired because of the wrestling, the energy. But because so he was getting tired. Yeah, because he could not listen, even keep going. I was impressed pace. because at the end of the day, he was outmatched in the wrestling, and they keep giving him difficult wrestlers. I don't know why. You know, and I was very mad that we didn't get the Shimbogo's fight because that's the fight that could that was that, yeah, that's a good fight. That'll be awesome. And I hope we can get that fight next. I think uh, so. This fight was because difficult. both of them now are now on the they, they lost their fight. And Shane also lost, lost the fight and um, has lost two fights in a row. So so yeah. he needs to fight down a little yeah, bit. He, he needs that. You he know, needs so, that. man, listen, man, it was a difficult fight for me to all watch. Right. But all but right. does he affect Hakim ranking? Do you think he's going to drop out of the top um, I think there are guys there. I can't, I, can't, I can't think of names right now, but I think there's some guys that are, that division is very tight in that in that bottom side. Is mm-hmm. there, there are a lot of guys that are moving up and down, but I think that Hakim should have been ranked before anyway. So I think that he should keep his ranking. Um, but yeah. you know, you never know. Yeah, I both fighters, both fighters were coming, were coming from a tremendous, like a huge. But put, they have put their their winning streak together. It's more than ten coming to this fight. So uh, I don't see how it's going to affect their most especially for Hakim's uh, ranking. I don't think he's going to be moved out of the ranking, even though he's at the lower third, lower thirds of it. So uh, where do you see Ivlov going from here? Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess he, I just threw a question out there. Farouk would answer and then you would answer and then we'll be done with this topic. So uh, Farouk, where do you see Ivlov going from there? I don't even think I want to talk about where he's going to. <laughs> but anyway, we we'll talk. We we'll have to talk about it. We're not going to be totally biased, according to our uh, our guys countering us on the comment section. Uh, so I think he's going to be going up in the rankings, getting more uh, a top fifth top from um eleven to fourteen. His spots to around that range, so he may be getting the next the likes of um of our boy against Sadiq. But that'll oh. be. I don't. I, I, I hope he. I hope he doesn't fight Sadiq. But I think he's going to be going up. That's oh, what I think. Yeah, Sadiq is uh is probably I'm not sure, Sha. But Mayua, who do you think he's going to fight? If love. I don't I, I hope they give him Bryce Mitchell. And to be fair, me as a fan, I want to see two grapplers man, just because it's great. Bryce Mitchell, I don't know if you guys have well watched. it's going he's to a be nasty, nasty, nasty grappler. So it's going to be American to grappling versus Russian grappling, and we know who always wins. <laughs> well, we'll no, we'll I, 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 I'll be honest with you. Bryce Mitchell <laughs> can't for sure. Fight. I don't know if you've seen Bryce Mitchell fight before. He doesn't yeah, get yeah, fight at all. Yeah, yeah. Is, is, he not that camo shot, is he not the camo shot guy? Yeah. And yeah. His, his submission threat is very potent. See, if Loeb is a good wrestler, mm-hmm. <laughs> what I've seen, this Bryce Mitchell guy is very nasty. So I'm, I'm very curious to see that fight. All right, all right, all right. I, I feel like the mind of standing, but you know, that, that's what I want to see. All I mean, right. I give him Giga Chikadze, who's a good striker as well. Fantastic. Um, Fantastic. We move forward. Year. We move forward. We move forward, guys. Uh... My UI is getting awake. This water is uh, really <laughs> the water therapy is working. So, <laughs> so uh, sharply. Oh wow, the big one, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, UFC 263 main event. Come on, Africans. Ah,